What's up YouTube, John, JD's Outdoors. And if you're like me, and you like figuring out solutions to things that aren't problems, then you pick the right video to watch. Most people around probably have a, a little generator laying around for emergencies or, you know, power outages, whatever. It's nice to have a little generator laying around to power things when there's no power available. And then little gas generators work awesome, but they do have one downfall. And then you got to put gas in it, right? Everybody knows right now gas is really expensive. And then things are also easy to grab and run away with. So what do we do if gas is in short supply, hard to find, extremely expensive? We figure out a solution to that problem that really isn't a problem at the moment, other than the expensive part. The gas is pretty expensive. So here's what I came up with. I made this little panel and it's ran by my solar generator that I built. Now some specs on this system is it's a 400 watt solar system with 400 amp hours of lithium battery storage and it's got Victron Energy battery monitor right there. I have a 20 amp breaker, the inverter on off switch and four outlets. And it's all ran through that window out in my backyard. So. There's a lot of these companies out there that have little solar packs that you can take for camping. I've actually had several companies contact me trying to uh, get those in my hand so I can play with them. And they'd ask for my address and I'd send it to them and I have yet to see one. So I have not been able to play with it. So I decided to build my own. But problem with those is if you want that in your house, you gotta have that battery pack sitting inside your house and you got two options. One, you can run it until it dies and then you set it outside with some solar panels and let it charge back up. Or you have to figure out a way to get cords inside so it can stay charging while you use it. Also, most of those don't have the capacity to run an air conditioner like this one's doing right now. This very simple system is running the 6000 BTU LG air conditioner without a problem at all. And this is the one that you stick the tube out the window. So I decided to utilize that and have my power wires come in the same hole, essentially. So I can have this panel on my wall that's 24-7, 365, free energy, free electricity, right there. And I can plug four things into it, as long as I don't overload the system. But it does have a breaker. Now, the breaker box, the breaker itself, the panel and these are just regular conduit boxes that actually fit these things perfectly this is just a regular single gain box that fits the Renogy um, on off remote switch and this is just a, a two gain box with a 30 amp like welding plug cover seen right there now the only sketchy thing about this is uh, this is supposed to screw into your your plug-in right well there is no plug-in and there's no other way to screw this in so for ease of use and being able to access it in the future if I ever wanted to this is just held on with four dollops of hot glue is it perfect no does it work absolutely now most of these little pre-manufactured one setups that you can buy um, they run anywhere from you know fifteen hundred to four or five thousand dollars I've seen on some of them this system is a lot more affordable than your larger systems that they that they sell pre-manufactured um, and it does it's super easy I am going to uh, walk you through exactly how to build this uh, in the next part of this video here and at the end I'll tell you exactly how much this cost is it it's not cheaper than the fifteen hundred dollar system but you're gonna have 10 times the capacity because most of those are only 40 amp hours those $1,500 ones that come with solar panels and uh, you got 10 times the capacity for not that much more money so let's head out to where I have um, the batteries and the charge controller and everything and I'll show you that setup and I'll walk you through how I put it together it's it's super super simple if you can lay out a few items on a piece of wood and screw it in and connect the dots with wires, you can do this too.
It's really that easy. And I will leave the links in the description for everything that I used, except for the outlet boxes and the breaker box, which you can get at your local Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Menards, Lowe's, whatever you have in your area, you can get all that stuff locally. But everything else is on Amazon. So I'll leave the links for that in the description. If you want to check them out, feel free. If you don't, uh, we can still be friends. So let's head outside and I will show you exactly how this thing is set up. All right, so inside the shed here is where all the magic happens. Uh, starting at the bottom, we got two 12 volt, 200 amp hour um, lithium batteries. Uh, those are from Logisee. I've, I've been running these ones for about a year now, and I've had pretty good luck with them. They're fairly reasonable on Amazon, uh, shipped right to your door, pretty good customer service. Um, and I, I would recommend them. I'm not sponsored by them. I'd love to be if uh, Logisee, if you're watching this, hit me up. But um, then on top, we got the Renogy 3000 watt um, pure sine wave inverter and the Renogy Rover uh, 40 MPPT charge controller. Uh, that little guy right there is the, uh, is the shunt for the little the little readout inside the house there that goes to the readout inside and then that is the remote that turns on the uh inverter so it's not constantly running and we have a main battery switch cut off to the inverter uh a fuse it's a 200 amp fuse for the inverter and then we have a 40 amp fuse that just goes from the solar and then the solar wires come in from uh, up top there on top of this rusty old shed is where we got the 400 watts of solar power. So it's being held on with some homemade clamps and uh, wired together. And then they come into the, uh, the positive and negative there and it goes inside the shed. Everything is just loosely zip tied in place. Uh, this is not permanent. This is just um, just being used for now. So everything's mounted on a board, piece of particle board totally removable uh, very very quickly so how all this is set up it really doesn't get any more simple than this just get yourself a piece of wood board so you can bolt some stuff to it and then lay out how you want your system to be set up so I got my charge controller that brings in power from the Sun from the solar panels and then that goes down into the positive side right here comes out goes down into the fuse and then it goes into the battery the negative side comes into the shunt and all the negatives run through the shunt so that'll tell you how much power you're bringing in how much power you're using and approximately how much time you have of battery life based upon your usage and what you're bringing in and then the negative comes over into the battery and the batteries are hooked together in parallel not series so this is a 12 volt system and then after that it's really just hooking your positive and negative wires up to uh, a fuse a battery shut off and then into the inverter it seriously is that simple um, and I'll I'll have links to all these pieces in the description um, this is just regular old 12-2 uh, Romex hooks into the back of the inverter. I still have three regular outlets and a USB. Should I want to uh, run something out here, I can, no problem. Uh, maybe put a battery tender on like the mower or something. But that's it, that is, that is the solar generator right there. And it's fairly equivalent to like that Predator uh, 3000 watt generator inverter generator that I have in the garage it's pretty comparable to that um, obviously you you don't have to worry about batteries dying etc you just keep topping off with gas but if you want to run some minor things without having to worry about gas that little solar generator kicks absolute butt um, and it's not that much more expensive than buying the predator generator so I paid I got the warranty with the generator, so I think out the door with taxes and everything is like 1100 bucks. 
Okay, now the cost of the solar system was $2,700. So it's a little bit more than double the cost of a gas generator. However, you have no maintenance. You just have to make sure your batteries don't die, which the sun will do that for you. And the batteries will last about 4,000 charge cycles. So if you only draw down half and then top it back off, you, you'll be able to do that 8,000 times. So they got a, a pretty good warranty on them. Batteries should last about 10 years. So for 10 years, you have free electricity that you can run. So it's a, it's a pretty neat little system. Throw it in your camper, throw it in your shed, wherever. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome to have. Um, so yeah, any other questions, feel free to ask down in the description. I am going to uh, eat me one of these fresh bananas because Florida has fresh bananas, like everywhere, so. Enjoy. As always, thanks for watching JDS Outdoors.